This video will cover how to replace the inlet and discharge valves along with the pistons, seals, and guides on any RTX series pump. These are the tools used in the video to repair the machine. Here are the kits and their part numbers needed to service the pump. The kits may vary depending on which pump you have. To replace the six inlet and discharge valves on this pump, remove the valve caps on the manifold with the 32 millimeter socket. Next, using a pair of needle nose or valve pliers, remove the valves by grabbing the plastic valve cage while twisting and pulling straight out. Note that the inlet and discharge valves are different on this pump. The discharge valves on the top have a black spring, and the inlet valves on the bottom have a silver spring. Make sure to clean the thread sealer off of the plugs and ports for your valves to prevent damage when reassembling it. Put in the new valves in their correct spots, and make sure they are properly seated. It's okay to use something that you have a firm grip on and that will not damage the inside of your pump to make sure they're in all the way. Apply a thin layer of thread sealer all the way around the threads when reinstalling the valve caps. Make sure to torque the caps to 3,540 inch-pounds, or 295 foot-pounds, before the adhesive dries. Never use an air gun when reassembling your machine, because this can lead to injury to you or damage to your pump. To access the pistons and their guides, start by removing the 8 head bolts with an 8mm Allen socket. To take off the head, rotate the crankshaft with a wrench or your hand if you can. This allows enough space to evenly pry off the head with two screwdrivers on opposite sides of the pump. After that, support the bottom of the head and push off with your thumbs. Be careful not to apply too much pressure to one side of the head, because this can crack the ceramic pistons. Once the manifold is off, there will be parts either on the pistons or still in the head of the machine. To remove parts off of the pistons, start by using a wrench or your hand to rotate the crankshaft. This will push the parts towards the end of the piston, making them easier to twist off. To take the rear piston guide and low pressure seal assembly out of the head, the best method is to use a pair of channel lock pliers to twist and pull them out. Next, take out the front piston guide. If you can't take out the low pressure seal by hand, use a small flathead screwdriver to pry parts out without scratching the inside of the pump. The first item to go into the manifold will be the head rings with the flat side facing down. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its concave side should fit over the support ring. New seals are very tough to fit in make sure to work them in at an angle and to only use your hands. The rear support ring should then fit on top of that. The front piston guide comes next, with its curved side going into the head. To put the rear piston guide in, start by replacing the O-ring on the outside. Then place in the brown backup ring into it. The low pressure seal goes on top of the backup ring with the bumpy side sticking out of the guide. If the guide is put in squarely, 
it should click into place. To replace the pistons, remove the piston bolt using a 13 mm socket. Once the bolt is out, you can twist off the piston and pull off the brass backplate. Again, make sure to clean off any thread sealant from the bolts before putting them back in. If you are not replacing the pistons, make sure to scrape off any residue that is accumulated on the outside. Once they have been thoroughly cleaned, you can put the copper plate and the piston back on the pump. Apply a small amount of thread locker all the way around the bottom of the piston bolt before retightening them. Make sure to torque the piston bolts to 177 inch pounds. To properly put on the manifold, turn the crankshaft so that the outer pistons are even. This helps with pushing the head back on squarely. New seals may be tight, so you can use a soft face hammer to evenly tap into place while supporting the head. Once you put in the head bolts, these can be torqued to 442 inch pounds or 37 foot pounds. Torquing in a crisscross manner can help evenly tighten the head onto the pump.